It began as a viral tweet following the death of George Floyd. And now Dionne Sims making it her mission to open a black-owned bookstore here in Minnesota. After two years of operating online and through pop-ups, that dream is now a reality. Black Garnet Books now has its own storefront in St. Paul and is one of few black-owned bookstores in the Twin Cities. In tonight's Voices for Change, Rose Schmidt shares the next chapter in Sims' journey, putting more voices of color on the bookshelves. On these shelves at the new Black Garnet Books, you'll find works that reflect the St. Paul community. Namely, we have a large Asian community, um, as well as black community living in Rondo and Frogtown. Carrying books by only BIPOC authors and illustrators was very important to owner Dion Sims. I really feel like I was partially raised by books. And despite that, I had never walked into a bookstore and seen people of color like serving me. So this book lover decided to create a store that her childhood self would have wanted. It started out as a Google search in 2020, following the murder of George Floyd. I'd gone online and I'd searched for the nearest black owned bookstore to support and nothing came up. The closest one was uh, semicolon in Chicago. That was the catalyst this lifelong Minnesotan needed to start selling books herself first online and at pop-up shops. All the while looking forward to the day she'd finally have this brick and mortar store for the community to enjoy. Going to a local library is okay, but just knowing that you have a black bookseller right here in your corner is amazing. In the short time it's been open, the bookstore has been flooded with families like this one. Grateful to have a new black owned business to support. And I feel like books are one of the ways that we see that anything is possible and therefore the representation in books is important. The owner says she'd like to get authors to come here and get back to doing pop ups in this area. But mostly she wants the community to know this resource is here and there are books inside just waiting to be discovered. Reporting in St. Paul, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9.